Hey guys, I'm Jason Inman. And I'm Tiffany Smith. Get ready for DC All Access. Yeah. Issue number five of Neil Gaiman's masterpiece, The Sandman Overture, comes out tomorrow. The fate of the universe is anyone's guess when Dream finally gets his mother's full attention. With brilliant artwork from J.H. Williams III, The Sandman Overture is so good, you'll be shaking it out of your shoes for weeks. DC is releasing its final 10 sneak peeks of its June titles this week. You can read original stories starring Cyborg, Black Canary, Batgirl, and more in the back of your Convergence books and online. Whatever your personal taste, there's a story for you in the new DC universe. Now, Tiffany, I've been reading a lot of these 10-page sneak peeks, and they are awesome. They're so good, but do you have a favorite? Action Comics, Greg Pak, Aaron Cooter. When you see that cape rip, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, back in November 2013, five-year-old Miles Scott captivated the world when he became Bat Kid for a day, thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Now, Warner Brothers is distributing a documentary called Bat Kid Begins, The Wish Heard Around the World. Eric Johnston, one of the organizers of the event, is here to tell us about building Gotham for a day. What we ended up doing was building some crazy stuff for the project, and one of them is this thing. So this is a, uh, it's a projector, so you can shoot messages from your arm out. And then the other thing was one of these. It's a big kind of comic book looking explosive thing, and um, it made it more real, kind of more comic book real. Right, that's not real. That's. Uh, better. The movie hits theaters in New York, LA, and San Francisco on June 26th and expands nationwide in July. Mad Max Fever is reaching epidemic levels with a blockbuster movie, a scintillating Vertigo comic, and a brand new video game coming this September. We've got design director Magnus Nedfors here to give us a sneak peek at the game's post-apocalyptic vehicular combat. So what features are you guys showing off about this game leading up to E3? Uh, primarily it's the car combat that is the big thing for Mad Max, so that's the key thing that we want to show today. Physical car combat is something that we really want to do, so the car takes a lot of beating, but that's also you can upgrade the car in many, many different ways, right? The one thing you can upgrade is the armor, so it will withstand more and more damage the further you go. Like if I want a combat-oriented car, I'll upgrade the weapons and the armor, but if I want a speedy car or like an agile car, I'll have to upgrade handling or the engine and acceleration and so on. And, balance it in different ways, okay? depending on how you want to play it. A man with no wheels is a man with no hope. I know you. You're the driver. Who are some of the other characters that we'll come into contact with throughout the game? Well, other characters you see most of the time is the guy called Sean Bucket. He's your mechanic. Max need him to build, rebuild his car for him. And Sean Bucket sees Max as a angel because cars is his religion. So he built cars, he's a famed black finger mechanic. Like Max is sent to him on almost a religious basis. And just seeing some of the footage from this game, obviously the desert landscape looks epic. How much is there to actually do in some of those blank spaces? When you just take a quick glance out into the wasteland, it looks empty. Yeah. And so that's been a big trick for us to try to work, like making a wasteland that feels empty at the first glance. But when you start to pick out details, there's actually stuff to do everywhere uh, in the game world, even though it might appear empty at the first. We're in the midst of our search for a San Diego Comic-Con correspondent, and the competition is getting as fierce as a socialite in a bat suit. Mm -hmm. And the tagline for this summer's Batman Arkham Knight is, Be the Batman. So Machinima challenged our finalists to share a moment where they became the Batman. Now, all the submissions were truly inspirational, but we can only pick six of you to go on to the next round. Take a look at who's still in the running. Be the Batman. Hey, be the Batman. Buy my game, Arkham Knight. It comes out June 23rd. Batman has taught a lot for me throughout the years, but when I was a kid, he taught me how to be fearless. One of my favorite things to do when I was little was go to the movie theater and immerse myself in the story. Watching his animated series when I was a kid, a, a series that didn't talk down to me and taught me right from wrong, inspired me to want to go to school for animation when I grew up. And sometimes it was overwhelming because I felt like I wasn't doing enough, but then I realized sometimes it's not about being Bruce. Sometimes it's about being Alfred. The one thing that kept poking at my brain was that so many kids wouldn't have a Christmas that year. So over the next month and a half, I slowly began buying toys. That was the easy part. The hard part was finding out how to get them to the kids. Around 
round of applause for our Secret Six, and make sure you check out Machinima ETC because they will be announcing the next video challenge tomorrow. We appreciate everyone's hard work, but if this is your last week with us, we'll be sending you a copy of Batman Arkham Knight and Arkham Statue, and a Chroma Series gaming keyboard, mouse, and headset from our friends at Razer. And we've got an extra bonus prize pack, so make sure you tweet us your favorite character from the Arkham franchise using the hashtag DCAA Fan Giveaway for a chance to win. And that's it for today. Be sure to click subscribe and check out those videos over there for more DC All Access. Oh, and check out our Tumblr for a behind the scenes look at how our show comes together. Like finding out who wears pants. <laughs>